Hey guys, this is Tom from Wine Valley Woodworks out of Newburgh, Oregon. If you're watching this video, you're trying to figure out whether or not you should buy the Crafted Elements router sled. But you're truly interested if you should buy it or not, I'm just gonna tell you that yes, it is absolutely worth buying. Here is the original router sled with my shop. Uh, after I moved and started my business, I made this thing, it's flat. It did a great job. The thing is, it just wasn't uh, as fast as I needed it to be for the amount of boards that I make on a daily basis or a weekly basis. And you can see it does just a perfect job. Uh, however, it just wasn't as smooth as I liked. And so I did a lot of research. I came across Crafted Elements. All right, you guys, here's the router in action. I was easily able to adjust the height of my router. And this is 10x speed. Uh, this board took me about three minutes to flatten. That's including both sides. So yeah, you can just kind of see how easily the rails glide. And yeah, I mean, I don't, really don't need to say anything. You can just kind of look and see how smooth this product really is. If you have a small shop, I'm gonna show you how to set it up in your small shop right now. If your workbench has a T-Track system. Okay, you guys, when you order your router sled system, it's gonna come with these rails, and I'm not gonna show you exactly how I assembled it, but long story short, I just took a completely flat board here, nailed it on here. At the ends, I uh, drilled a hole so that I can anchor this down on the T-Track system, which is anchored to my workbench here. So if I have a project um, that I need to work on, I can just take these off, mount them on the side, like so. As you can see, these are not going anywhere. And uh, they're out of the way for working on projects on your workbench. Okay, you guys, I have my workbench here. It is completely bare from the router sled system. I'm gonna show you in a time lapse just how I personally set this up in three steps. Okay, so here we have it. That only took a minute and a half to do in real time. Now I'm just gonna talk about the features, what works well, what doesn't, and one thing that I uh, MacGyvered, so to speak, and why I did it. All right guys, here's the router sled system. Moves so easily with one hand. I actually had to add zip ties. I have a pretty strong router that goes on top of this. The router was just vibrating so much that they were causing the bolts to fall out, which is pretty dangerous. So I was trying to think of a solution about how to make this thing sturdier. And I just thought, zip ties. And so I actually had to drill holes myself on uh, 16 points here all around, just to anchor it down. Also, you can buy an optional uh, two and a half inch dust collection port. It gets all the fine dust out uh, when, you're, when you're running a uh, dust collection system here. It does, it's not gonna get the chips, um, but you're actually gonna notice a huge difference if you're using this. So I highly recommend buying that add-on feature. Lastly, on the installation instruction video, they tell you to install the shroud, cut out the corners. You're definitely gonna to wanna to do that. You're gonna be running this over your board back and forth and you're gonna want a lot of gifts. Make sure you cut that up. This keeps a lot of dust from flying around while it doesn't capture all the dust through this port. It keeps it at bay. So once you're done using this router system, it actually does a really good job at keeping all the dust in one spot for you to clean up afterwards. All right, so I'm actually gonna flatten the board for you guys right now, and you're gonna see how this works for yourself if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Stay tuned. All right guys, here's the aftermath of my board. It is completely flat. Like I was saying, oh, there's a, some thick dust that's still in the area. That's due to the shroud kind of keeping it in place. Uh, there definitely was a lot of fine dust that was being sucked through the dust collection port there. As you can see, if you set it up with your T-Track system on your workbench, you can fit this router sled system into any size shop with any size workbench. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Take care.